Hey everyone, so we started planting our wine cap plots. Two years ago, we got a grant through SARE to actually study the impacts of wine cap and improving soil health. We also wanted to look at different variables, but essentially the idea was to plant wine cap beds in multi-materials on top of the soil, and then measure the impacts and the benefits in tomato crops that were also cultured in the same area, as well as how much wine cap could actually improve the soil health below. And we found some really interesting results from that study. What we did find is that the tomato plants were not only healthier in plots with the wine cap mushroom, but they also yielded more tomatoes. So what we wanted to do is kind of follow up on that, dig deeper into the soil and actually get some better test results from that, and then take the tomato plant's health and kind of improvement in the yield one step further. Um, we had worked a little bit with Dr. Bielman and uh, several other researchers that actually look at the nutritive benefits and kind of the nutrition density of crops and vegetables. And in particular, they're really interested in this new or more well-known um, antioxidant ergothionine. And so what we wanted to do is to see if ergothionine, which is basically just produced from fungi, actinobacteria, and other microorganisms, we wanted to see if by polyculturing wine cap and tomatoes together, if we could actually improve the nutritive density, inclu including this ergothionine in the tomato crops themselves. So that's kind of new and fun. It's this next level of research in this year's project. Um, so we're really looking forward to see if that's some sort of measurable impact. All right, so yesterday we began constructing the plots for this experimental study. Um, we actually did replicates of five, so there are five uh, replicate plots for each of our treatments. Five control plots, five straw mulch only, and then five plots that we actually planted our wine cap mushroom into the straw mulch. What we're going to do then is in each of those plots, we're also going to plant our tomato plants. And from the tissue and the fruits of those tomato plants, we're going to test for the ergothionine. There are other variables that we're also going to monitor, including bed temperature, bed depth, to see how quickly that wine cap mushroom is actually breaking down the material, and then also take soil samples to actually measure some of the variables within the soil to see how much improvement, if there is some, um, is occurring within each of those treatments. So each of the plots that we constructed are two meters by two meters with buffer zones between those plots to reduce the the risk of wine cap spreading from plot to plot. That'll essentially give a safe zone for walkways between each and then within the plots themselves have either the straw mulch or no mulch, the wine cap or no wine cap, and the tomato plants. So we are excited to kind of continue monitoring these plots now that they've been established. And there's several variables that we want to keep in mind. Um, we want to maintain bed moisture just to make sure that the wine cap mushroom is able to grow well. And then we'll also kind of monitor tomato plant health and various other things throughout the season. What we'll be doing is kind of taking you along with us by actually doing a video series. Um, so we'll kind of keep you posted and show you some of those um, project updates.